Hello everyone, welcome to this uh, virtual tour of a typical accident and emergency ambulance. Um, this here is the uh, Bucky vehicle. Just going to give you a quick look around the outside because it's a bit wet today. So in here we have a variety of um, stretchers for getting people up off the ground and uh, out of vehicles and what have you. In the side locker here is some oxygen that we carry into every job. Some uh, immobilisation equipment, the big green bag that we take in to deal with all types of emergencies and a smaller bag that we take that's got equipment specifically for children. I'll just go into the vehicle now, get out the rain. So in the side door here, we've got a little step that pops out. Dead ahead is the uh, stretcher that we use to take people on. Uh, we can take it into houses or we can uh, typically use it to transport people from the vehicle into hospital if they're unable to walk. Uh, we've got a couple of seats in here as well for the crew and for any relatives that may be coming with us. We've got quite a few lockers and storage space. Um, those are collars for use in stabilising someone's neck if they've hurt their neck in an accident. Um, we've also got a chair here. It's quite special because it's got these tracks on the back, which means that it can come up and down stairs and make it easier for us to remove people out of houses if they're not able to walk for themselves. Um, in the back here, hidden away, is some uh, just a larger oxygen bottle. So once we get into the vehicle, we can put someone onto oxygen and keep the little bottle whole. Got some spare cylinders here as well, and some pain relieving gas. Got some suction unit here, and we use that to clear someone's airway if they need a bit of help with that, if they're not able to do it themselves. And we've also got our uh, monitor and defibrillator. So we use this to uh, take some patient information. So things like your pulse, your op oxygen levels, your uh, blood pressure and what have you. We'll all get read through this machine and uh, we'll come to a decision as to how we're going to treat the person using that information. In the side here is a bit more uh, storage space so all the different supplies and things like that that we'll need to use and treat various conditions we've got our gloves this here is our electronic patient reporting form so it's the EPRF and it's a tablet computer that comes out the side we can take it into a house or it's just easier to type on when you've got it on your knee um, we use this to document everything about the patient or the incident we're at, um, who's all there, how many patients we have, their information, so we can keep it all nice and accurate and uh, hand over to the hospital. Up here is our uh, radio, so we use that to contact the hospital. We might need to radio ahead to say we're coming in with a patient in a specific condition, and uh, just so the hospital can get nice and ready. So all our vehicles carry a lot of equipment that need um, battery power. So when we're on station, we plug the ambulance into this uh, big cable here. So it keeps it nice and charged up and ready to go all the time. And if we jump into the front here, you'll see this is the driver's side. So we've got another screen in the front, which gives us all the information as to um, the type of incident we're going to the address so we can go into it and find the map so it's just like a sat nav system in a car we can zoom in to wherever we need to go and it'll take us to the destination as as you can see the vehicle's located in Bucky today so it's got a, a crosshairs where the vehicle's parked um, in the front we have another radio so we can use that to contact our control room and uh, we've got a panel down here that works the all important blue lights. So what I'll do, I'll start up the vehicle and we'll... Down here, we've got the 999 button. So press that and then we'll go and have a look at what's happened when we do that. 
So when we press that button, that activates the blue light and has the headlamps flashing as well. And there we have it. That's your virtual tour of the ambulance.